Now, the International Court of Justice has rejected most of Ukraine's case against Russia, but it has also ruled that Moscow violated certain elements of the United Nations Anti-Terrorism Treaty by failing to investigate into alleged breaches. The United Nations top court looked at Kiev's accusations that Moscow has equipped and funded pro-Russian forces. Ukraine wanted Russia to compensate all civilians who are caught up in the conflict as well as victims from the Malaysia Airlines flight MH17, which was shot down over eastern Ukraine in 2014. The Kiev has argued that Russia supplied the missile systems that shot down the aircraft. Russia has rejected these allegations as quote-unquote fiction and blatant lies. And the World Court has tossed out most of Ukraine's claims, ruling that only Russia was failing to take measures to investigate into facts. Now, the ICJ has also declined to rule specifically on the plane, saying that terrorism funding violations only cover money and not weapons for training. And this comes ahead of a meeting of European Union leaders in Brussels where they will try to agree on granting more financial aid to Ukraine. So far this year, Kiev has also received no military or financial aid from its two main backers, the United States and the European Union. There's also growing uncertainty over U.S.'s assistance to Kiev as the Congress considers new funds for Ukraine. But a senior U.S. diplomat has in fact expressed confidence that the Congress will back President Joe Biden's request to approve an additional sum. The assurances come as the United States under the Secretary of State Victoria Nuland visited Ukraine before the war with Russia enters into its third year. The Biden administration has asked our Congress for another $60 billion uh, to support Ukraine for the coming year. Today we talked about, and bipartisan support for Ukraine remains strong across the country. We continue to provide security support in all categories. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.